very safe area. And it's as far as the eye can see. I can see what they have in terms of life. The most expensive listing here in Edgewater. In this video, we're going to be going over a tour of Edgewater. We're going to check out some of the local sites, uh, some of the parks, the outdoor areas, and show you just a little bit more of New Smyrna's closest neighbor. If you want to find out more, make sure you stay tuned. What's up everybody, it's Jim Day! And Bubba. With the forest sale team right here in Edgewater, Florida. If you're new to the channel and you wanna know everything about working, sleeping, playing, eating, buying, and or selling anywhere here in the Edgewater area, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. We have people reaching out literally every single day and we love it. Whether it's buying, selling, moving, or relocating, Make sure you reach out, shoot me a call, text, email, message in a bottle, or schedule a Zoom in the link down below. However you need to reach us, we've got your back when you're moving to Edgewater, Florida. Let's get into it. They've got the ice cream trucks ready to go. Here at Whistle Stop Park, this is gonna be right across the elementary school. It's an awesome park. You've got a little playground, you've got picnic areas, you've got bathrooms, which is key. And you've also got this beautiful basketball court right behind us, racquetball, tennis courts, and then also you have a skate park, which is absolutely insane. So Whistle Stop Park is a great area to be. There's tons of police officers as well that are right here in the area, uh, with the elementary school being right there across the street, so it's a very safe area. Uh, you're very, there's a lot of peace of mind when you're here. So it's a great, great place to come by, bring the family, Bring your pets and just have a great time. It's like you have two pink casts on your feet. My socks are amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> socks. They're, look at that. They're friends' socks. First off, shout out to you guys. They're comfy. It's cold, okay? I'm cold. And there's even more here than the park than meets the eye when you first initially get here. I didn't realize that there was also a sand volleyball court right here, which is pretty cool, right? And then also you have the baseball field, which is all the way at the end. So literally this is a kind of a one-stop shop when it comes to the, you know, the outdoor recreational activity entertainment section of things. volleyball right here you got some swings with a beautiful view you can drive on the beach you can drive on the <laughs> water you can drive on the beach here wow look at that nice um there's really nice upper class mobile home parks and then we have these colonial nice colonial looking homes and uh yeah there's lots of lots of variety when it comes to homes Here in Edgewater, you have a variety of options, lots of different houses of different shapes, colors, and sizes. Literally anywhere from the upper 200s all the way to the most expensive listing here in Edgewater. Uh, this property here is going for about 1.9 million, and it sits on just about an acre. So it's a waterfront property. It's got a giant, massive dock. This house is about 4,400 square feet, and it is an absolute monstrosity here. 
tucked away in one of the most unsuspecting neighborhoods here in Edgewater. So depending on your price point, this might be the home for you. So we're here in Edgewater and this is a very unique collection. He likes to call himself the Picasso of Edgewater, New Smyrna Beach area. His name is Peter Wolf Top. He's got literally this entire, this, this entire area is just sculptures, paintings, and it's as far as the eye can see is, the, you know, back there in this area. It's a beautiful area. I'll throw up the hours of, it, of availability when you can come on by, check things out. It's an absolutely crazy spot to just come out and check out here in the in the Edgewater area. So here we have JC's Riptides. They have seafood galore. It's a local favorite. Make sure you come on by and check them out. All right, so we got the uh, Winn-Dixie Shopping Center. We got a little Dunkin' Donuts over here. We got a little Chick-fil-A. We got a CVS Pharmacy. Did I say that, C CVS Pharmacy? So you got a lot of, a little shopping in, in, uh, in Edgewater. Um, you got your Wells Fargo Bank over here. So, you know, it's not a big town, but it's got its things. Ladies and gents, we are here at Rotary Park. Now, here is going to be the spot where you have access to the actual bike trail. Now, this trail literally is going to go all the way down 442. It's going to be a great ride. So over here, you have a great area to go ahead and take the dogs. It's a nice, expansive little, you know, section. They've got the small dog area and then the big dog area to keep them separated. Uh, so that way, you got your dogs playing over here and then over here as well. You've got the kids playing. So you kind of cover all the bases. It, a pretty compact little park that's well put together and it looks nice as well. Crocs and socks though. Oh, you already know, bro. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Crocs. Nice, you know, and then you got the nice picnic area. You can, you know, eat, do picnic stuff and activities. So where's this trail? This way. Follow me, son. We gotta go down here and drop it. And you got Bubba over here just cutting off all the old ladies. Literally every single one. Just all right. So you're starting over there at Rotary Park. You come across the street, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow the little white signs that say trail. And we're coming up on. And essentially, it's gonna lead you to this little area here. So it pretty much looks like this the whole way. Yeah. Like this, it goes up. It goes for another like mile and then it kind of goes around like these big open fields with cows and wow and how uh, far down are the cows though uh, they're over 95 oh. dude one day we saw like 10 turtles like big old tortoises mm -hmm. about like this big just walking these trails it was really cool so as you're going through down the paths you have some of the uh, little doggy bags you have those stations throughout the entire trail as well now it's pretty cool because it's literally just tucked away and this is exactly how far away the road is right from the actual trail it's running parallel and then so you have the trail right here right and then you have the main road right there so it's kind of cool once you park from rotary park you're going to be going down the road you're going to come down to this trailhead here and rotary park is going to be one of your closest places to park so you're gonna have to walk a little bit or bike i, I can't imagine you're going on this path um, without some form of transportation unless you are an ultra marathoner or you're just jogging or something. You, you're expecting to go the distance anyway, so I guess parking isn't really an issue for you, right? Um, <laughs> pretty much with this trailhead, it's going from, it starts in Deland, it ends here in Edgewater, and then there's another segment connect, connecting Edgewater to Titusville, which is south of us here. Now, the segment from Deland to Edgewater, that trail is literally going to be over 50 miles long. It is fully paved like this. You can ride bikes on it. You can walk. You can jog. You can segue as we are doing here. And yeah, check the fit. Check the fit. Uh, mm. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can segue. You can do whatever you want on these trails. They're expansive and they're actually part of a big massive network here in Florida called the Coast to Coast Trail System. Now what that is, is it spans from the west side of Florida in Tampa all the way to the east side, which is going to be here in the Daytona Beach area. Now we got some helicopters, planes and such, you know, you could probably hear it flying overhead. 
Now, this area that we're nearby at Rotary Park, it has to do with airplanes, bro. It's next to an airport. It's a municipal air, it's a smaller airport. A lot of people have their, you know, regional planes and such, smaller commuter planes, and they're more toys, right? So if you have a plane, you got a nice sky toy, you can park it just down the road here in Edgewater. We also have plane parking in New Smyrna, Daytona. Uh, all three areas have their own airports. So just something to keep in mind in the area. People like to have some fun. And it's a great way to get around town if you're looking to get some exercise and slow things down a little bit. So they seem pretty stocked up here. Uh, it seems like a pretty solid spot. Let's see what they have in terms of life. Three o'clock on a, on a Thursday. Hey man, how's it going? How's it going? Okay. So we got some pretty massive tanks with some bait for the shrimp. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a fish geek, so I a double decker setup like this would be absolutely insane for my place. So some inspiration there for sure. You going fishing? No, it's uh, turtle food. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, no, I, he actually had some good looking shrimp, so I actually had to get some, some shrimp and a, and, a, and a bait fish. Uh, that's food for my turtle and for my dog. I mean, I don't know what kind of CIA operation Edgewater's got going on here, but they got an impressive police force for such a tiny retirement community. If you're still thinking of making the move, you've got to reach out, shoot me a call, text, email, message in a bottle, or schedule a Zoom in the link down below. But you do have to reach out, otherwise we don't know that you need our help. So don't be scared, reach out to us. Also, if you're new to the area or you're coming in from out of state, but you're moving here, you don't necessarily want to buy a home, you're thinking about renting, um, we have a great lease option program, rent to own program. Um, we'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. It's one great way to come live in the area, secure a property, and not have to be tied to that property forever. If you don't like the area, we can move you somewhere else. However you need to reach us, we've got your back when you're moving to Edgewater, Florida. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to check out our other videos, check them out here and here. Go! Go!